In this video, I will be showing you how to solve logarithmic equations, and I'll be doing so by going over a few examples. Okay, over here we have the three laws of logarithms. We have the multiplication rule, the division rule, and the power rule. Now, I have them up here because when we want to solve equations involving logarithms, essentially what we need to do is we need to be able to recognize and call upon these different laws and if we don't remember these laws, or if you don't have them memorized, then doing this will be very difficult. For our first example, let's say that we have LG of 5x, and we're subtracting LG of x plus, or x minus 4, and this expression is equal to 1. So like I said earlier, when we're solving expressions involving logarithms, essentially what we want to do is we want to recognize the logarithmic laws and apply them. So over here, right away, we see we have two logarithms, both with the same base. They're both LG, so they're both, so they're both base 10. And we see that one is being subtracted from the other. So from this, we can deduce that we need to use the division law. So that would give us LG of... 5x over x minus 4 and this is equal to 1. Now all we have to do here is remember what a logarithm really is. So LG is basically log to the base 10. So that means that 10 to the power of 1 is equal to 5x divided by x minus 4. And now what's left is just algebra. So we can multiply both sides by x minus 4. We get 10 times x minus 4. And this is equal to 5x. So from this we get 10x minus 40 is equal to 5x. Let's collect like terms so we get 10x minus 5x, which equals 5x, and this is equal to 40. You just move this over here and the 5x over here. So 5x, 5x is equal to 40, therefore x is equal to 8. All right, that's simple enough. Let's look at another example. Let's say that we have 2 times log base 4 of x of x and we're subtracting log base 4 of log base 4 of x plus 3 from this x plus 3 and this expression is also equal to 1 so once again, what we need to do is we need to look for the different laws that we can apply. So we see over here, since we're subtracting and these both have the same base, that we can apply the division law. So in order for us to apply the law of division, we have to remove this too. And we'll do that by using the power law. So and the power law, if you remember, is simply bringing the coefficient and making it the power. So we get log base 4 of x squared and then minus log base 4 of x plus 3 and this is equal to 1. So now we can apply our division law we get log base 4 of x squared over x plus 3 equals to 1 and remembering what logs actually mean that means that 4 to the power of 1 is equal to x squared over x plus 3 and all that's left now is just some algebra we can say so let's say 4 times x plus 3 is equal to x squared 
four x plus 12 is equal to x squared x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Um, so we get x squared then minus, we can factor this, you can factor it however you want. I prefer to use middle term breaking, so using the factors 6 and 2 of 12. So x squared plus 2x minus 6x minus 12 is equal to 0 x times x plus 2 minus 6 times x plus 2 is equal to x minus 6 times x plus 2 and this is equal to 0 x is equal to 6 or x is equal to minus 2. Now before we definitively say that this right here is our final answer we need to look back and make sure that they can both be plugged into our equation. So if we plug x or if we plug 6 in, let's try 6 first, we see that it checks out because over here there's no issue, it can be applied, and over here as well we can take log base 4 of 9, we can also take log base 4 of 6. However, if we want to use a value of negative 2, that does not work out because we cannot take log base 4 of negative 2 since we are not allowed to take negative logs. So therefore, negative two is not a viable option for us. Let's move on to a slightly less straightforward example. So let's say that log base two, scroll down a bit, log base two of x plus three is equal to two plus log base two of y and log base 2 of x plus y is equal to 3. And we have to solve for x and y. It's written kind of messily, let me fix that. Now this looks more complicated than the other questions that we've already solved but it really isn't. All it is is it's just a simultaneous equation with logarithms. Now we can solve this the same way that we would solve any normal logarithmic equation so I'll use the substitution method where you find a value for either x or y and then you plug that into the other expression and since this expression looks slightly easier I'll use this to find the first expression so we can open this up, you have log base 2 of x plus y is equal to 3, then knowing how logarithms work we get 2 to the third which is 8 is equal to x plus y, and from this we can get x is equal to 8 minus y by subtracting y from both sides. So now we can plug this into our other equation. So let's rewrite our other equation down here. We have log base 2 of x plus 3 is equal to 2 plus log base 2 of y. And we can plug in x over here as, oops, and we can plug in x over here as 8 minus y. So we get log base 2 of 8 minus y plus 3 is equal to 2 plus log base 2 of y. Now here what we need to do is we need to recognize what logarithmic rules we can use. So first to do that let's bring all of our logarithmic let's bring all of our logarithmic expressions on the same side. So we get log base 2 of 8 plus 3 is 11, so you get 11 minus y, so 11 minus y, don't know why that's blue, minus log base 2 of y is equal to 2, and since we're subtracting these two logarithms, we see that we can use the division law, so we get log base 2 of 11 minus y over y is equal to 2, we get 
then using our knowledge of logarithms once again we get that 2 squared is equal to 11 minus y over y and if you're confused to how I got this you should probably revisit the concept of what a logarithm is and I go over that in my first video which will be titled an introduction to logarithms so anyway this is just algebra from here on so we have 4 times y is equal to 11 minus y we brought this over 4 y is equal to 11 minus y 5 y is equal to 11 y is equal to 11 over 5 or 2.2 now we need to solve for x by plugging that in over into this equation that we got over here this equation so let's rewrite that x is equal to 8 minus y x is equal to 8 minus 2.2 x is equal to 5.8 so our final answer is y is equal to 2.2 and x is equal to 5.8